Hello everybody, it's Pabu and welcome back to Zoo Crafting. So today what we're going to be doing is building the Malayan Tafer exhibit. So I'm not going to waste any time, we're going to head straight over there through the trees and get started. Well actually, first of all, I do need to eat something, so I'm just going to grab, what should I grab? Um, let's grab some of this milk candy. From what I remember, it doesn't heal much up. Um, does it not heal anything up at all? Okay. Uh, we'll have to eat something else. <laughs> um, what about this vanilla ice cream? We'll go and we'll have a few nibbles of this. There we are. That's done it. So we're going to head over here through the trees and I do have something to show you. I managed to find out where uh, Zambezi was. So if we can get over there and I don't get lost, we should come out near the oriental zone, near to the flamingo exhibit. Hello horse, you're not Zambezi. Um, if we come up this way, you'll see there's a horse over there that has a saddle on and I'm not sure what happened, I don't know whether um, she must have wandered over here or whether I rode her over here and forgot, maybe she just wanted to talk to the flamingos because after all it is um, the month of the birds here on the zoo crafting server so I guess she did just want to come and check them out and they're all laying eggs which is, which is really really cool. So we're gonna try to get out this exhibit and I will pop Zambezi back in her stable um, and then we'll, we we shall return and we shall start building. Uh, hang on, let me just, I'm a bit lost in this forest. Wait, I see the house but I don't know how to get to it. There we are. <laughs> Maybe I should clear a few trees out of the way and build like a proper path. So we'll just pop her in there, we'll get off her, we shall close the door. So hopefully no more es escaping from any of you. Um, but we re sh really should take them on a bit of a, a ride in the future because we don't really do that. And also Chavon is stuck in the oriental zone as well. He is on top of a roof and I will show you where he is uh, as soon as I get that. Oh look at these herbs. <laughs> just going to pick those up. So I have been doing a bit more work off camera as well. Some people suggested that this little pond here in the middle I should put some koi fish into and I think we have koi fish on the server. I'm not entirely sure but I think Ben had some in his little Japanese garden that he made so I might have to ask him where he got them from. See if I can borrow some but I think that'd be really cool if I could put some koi fish in there and I have been working on this little roof area. So it tends to rain a lot in this area and I didn't want uh, Zookeeper Emily and Zookeeper Sharvin to get wet. So I added this little roof and Chavfont has decided to climb on top of it, um, which isn't the safest of things. So I need to get him off there, but he is also very, very hungry. So I'm just gonna see if I have any food that is suitable for dogs. Do I have any rotten flesh or anything? Um, I have 22 pieces of rotten flesh, so I know it's not much, but I'm going to have to feed that to you, Chow Font, because I don't want you starving. So if I can uh, just feed that to you, uh, there we are. And I'm going to make you unsit so you can follow me. Uh, how do I do that? Is it like this? Are you are you standing? Yes, you are. And here he is, he's coming to, to follow me. So I have added in new paintings around the zoo as well. So I've added these little fact signs up here for the snow leopard. And this is a completely new one. So Panthera uncia, mass is 75 kilograms for an adult. Their length uh, from their head to their tail is 0.75 meters to 1.5 meters. Their lifespan is 20 years. Their characteristics are they have long, thick fur, yellow to white in color. They have black rosette spots on their bodies and they have pale green eyes and they are endangered. And then we've seen this one before for the Asian black bear, but this is Ursus uh, tibetanus. Mass is 60 to 200 kilograms for an adult male and 40 to 140 kilograms for an adult female. Their length is 120 to 130 centimeters. I don't know why that one's in centimeters and this one is in meters. But I will have to um, sort that out because that's I'd, I'd, that's annoying me. Uh, the lifespan is 25 to 30 years. Their characteristics are they have a bow-shaped ears, white patch on the chest, and a V-shape. And I think yesterday I said that these were white tigers. Well, that's not true. They were snow leopards. I just completely forgot what was in there. And a funny thing is that one of them despawned. So we had Tundra and we had Maya. And when I went to check on them, Tundra had vanished. So I have added him back in now and he should be 
uh, he should be okay. And there's a couple more paintings around here as well. And if we head on into the Oriental Zone, it is also night time, so I'm going to have to sleep soon. Uh, I've got rid of the little Da Vinci sculptures. I don't know if you remember them. Um, they had like leaves on the side. I thought they'd look nicer, um, but they sort of take up too much room on the pathway. So I've just put the painting straight onto the glass and I think it doesn't look too bad. So we shall head over in this direction and I'll look. Look at this. We have we have a, an exploding green friend in there. Um, so I may just have to take a quick nap. So I'm going to head back inside, back into this little cave, take a quick a quick nap in that bed that I've bought. Um, yeah, we'll head in this way. Uh, where's my bed? Because we don't want any of those evil monsters trying to kill us. There we are, so I'll just pick it back up now. Uh, yeah, it's this way, isn't it? Uh, we'll close that. Oh, I have also added a little a den, like a little cave over there for the, the bears to... Um, explore to sleep in if they want to and they are enjoying it. I have seen uh, a few of them in there. I can't remember their names. I think it was Millie that was in there and there are lots of Chocobo in there. Well one, that's lots. <laughs> so yeah over here is where we are going to be building the Tabu exhibit. So I will get my pickaxe and move this pickaxe too because we need to destroy uh, quite a bit of the land. There's a lot of limestone here as well, which I'm going to collect up because that's very, very useful. And there's a little deer. Oh no, that deer can't swim and it doesn't know how to walk either. So even if I did do this, I'd have to rescue it myself. Uh, so we're going to get rid of a lot of this stone. I am using my silk touch pickaxe because I just want the regular stone because that's really useful for some exhibits as well. So we're going to gather up a bit of this and uh, get rid of some of that dirt as well because I'm going to use the back wall of this mountain as like a, a natural um, boundary for the exhibit. So we're just going to collect this up. It's going to take a bit of a while but no worries, no worries. It'll be fine. What I really wish I had was one of those um, really powerful pickaxes like Seri has where she can break a block and it breaks everything around her. I think that's part of the Tinker's Construct mod or something, but I don't really know what to do with that. I know that you need one of those big forges that I've seen in some of the villages around the server, but I have no idea how to operate them. And I've just noticed that Chaffont has these chests on. I don't remember when I did it, but I sort of do, if that makes sense. I remember giving him the chests, but I don't remember when. Um, how do I access them? Is it like shift or did I, do I need a block of wood? Can I use cherry wood? Would that work? I know there was something like this. Do I have like a regular block of wood in my backpack? Um, will dark oak wood work? Ah, uh, yeah. So, um, I don't know whether I have to level them up to be able to pick up items, but I can definitely store things in them. I can store items which is uh, really really cool so what am I doing with this wall that's that's fine we're gonna get rid of a bit of this now and then uh, I shall get oh I'll get rid of this block there as well maybe that one and I'll get my shovel uh, I saw it just there we shall get rid of some of this grass and some of this dirt what is that rock the shiny blue crystals in it uh, so we'll get rid of this. I have so much dirt. You won't believe. I've got um, at my house. I have a double chest, or a, no? It's not a double chest. It's a, a multi-page chest, and lots and lots of the pages are full of dirt. So maybe I can turn the dirt into something, or if I perhaps sell it to a dirt tradesman or something, that would be really interesting, and I could get some valuable resources. So how is that? How is that wall? I think maybe I'm just going to shape it up a bit more. Um, yeah, that would be okay. And we'll do that. And then we can start shaping. So we shall put that like that. And we shall replace these two blocks here. And here. And here. And here. Okay. That's looking good. Oh look, there's a, there's a little German Shepherd. <laughs> He's going to make friends with Chalfont, or Chalfont's come to make friends with him. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is make a bit of room in my backpacks. Well, in my inventory rather, and I also do need to make room in my backpacks. So I can stop 
I should stop picking things up that I don't need. So let's pop all this in. Can't put any of those flamingo eggs in because I have no room. Uh, let's see, I can pop lots of stuff in here. Uh, that was aqua marine ore, by the way. And I need calmness blocks. Wow, I don't have much, do I? Uh, let's make some more with this dark oak wood. Do I have to build yet another crafting table because I forgot to build one? I think I do. Uh, so let's just... What? That's weird. So depending on where you put it in the crafting table, <laughs> you create a different workbench. Okay. Good to know, good to know. So we shall pop that there. Um, and what am I doing again? Uh, Carbonous blocks. So how do I do that again? Oh my gosh, this is so bad. I forgot the recipe. Is it like this? Nope. I think it's the other way around. Uh, so let's try this. Surround this with sticks. Yes, it's like that. So we'll just make a couple more of these. Uh, like that. Okay. And so the pathway comes up here. Um, so let's say we start the exhibit about here. Um, and then we'll go diagonally. Like this. And then we shall go into one of these crazy complex curves. So we'll start heading off in this direction. Um, maybe we'll go like this. We'll go around this little pond because this can be their little water source because tapirs do live by water. <laughs> well, as do most animals because uh, they kind of need water to live. Um, this is, this is, I was going to say this is very small, but I think it's actually bigger than the space that we've given them in the um, tropical zone. Sorry, child, I didn't mean to push you there. So we can have the path that loops around here and we can have it go up there. We could add like some stairs or a ramp or something. Um, so we'll do something like this. Get rid of these uh, geishals. Um, Chaffon, Chaffon, please be careful. Do I have to dig you out there? Uh, yeah, what about that? Hmm. Okay, doesn't doesn't look too bad. Yeah, I may have to extend backwards a bit, but I think it's good. I think the tapirs might like it. Let's see if I can just smooth this off a bit more. So we'll do that. Um, could we possibly bring it out a couple more blocks, like maybe to here? And I just realized it is quite bad putting the tapirs next to the tiger exhibit because tigers are tapirs' main predator. Um, they are endangered, but surprisingly, they're not often killed by tigers. They are killed by humans, um, which tends to be the case for most animals, unfortunately. Because humans, naughty humans, like taking their land, cutting down trees and things. Oops, what was happening there? So what about this? What does this look like? Uh, it's a bit better. It's given them more room. But no, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. So let's see what we can do with this back wall. I need to get my uh, stone back. So I'm just going to build this up because it's a bit two-dimensional at the moment. Um, we'll make it look a bit more rocky. So we'll just make little uneven areas like that. And if I can put a block there, uh, like that. So you see how it goes up and down, up and down, like a natural flow, which is really cool. And then over here, I'm going to have to dig away some of this mountain as well. So we'll get rid of this and some of this dirt. And I'm going to possibly build a little shelter over here. So like I did in the tropical zone, I gave them a little house. Uh, I'm going to do the same here. And when I went to Chester Zoo, the tapirs have a little house like this, and they also have a little window. It's like a tinted glass window, so not much light can get in, but you can look inside and you can see the tapirs sleeping. So I might do something like that. So uh, this little area will be sheltered off from the rain and everything, and they can come inside and sleep and do whatever tapirs do. So let's just uh, do this. We shall get rid of some of these blocks as well. So. Uh, this dirt block. Um, and I wish I had a couple of the tapirs here to show you, but unfortunately I don't yet. I'll have to visit, uh, what was that place? In the staff zone. Um, oh my gosh, my mind has gone blank. Uh, the research center, I need to visit the research center and ask my disco sheep if it's possible that they could contact any of the zoos and see if they have any Malayan tapirs that we could borrow or loan to put in our zoo. 
Uh, so I might have to take a trip to go visit those a bit later, or maybe in another episode. It'll probably be in another episode. Um, but they have a brown fur. Well, it's not really fur. They have brown skin and a large white patch on the middle of their belly uh, all the way to their legs which helps them camouflage in the environments that they live in because their predators which as I said uh, tends to be just tigers think that they're rocks and they will ignore them which I thought is pretty funny and where is this donkey going and where's that cow going they like climbing my mountain <laughs> Um, but no, this is cool. So we've got this little area over here that they can sleep in. Gotta get rid of that Geishal Green, because I don't know how edible Geishal Greens are to tapirs. Um, this is going to be their little pond, which I probably will raise up a bit. And I will get rid of all of this uh, limestone as well. So let me swap my pickaxe. Don't want to ruin my Silk Touch pickaxe when I don't need to. Um, what else? So I don't know how many of these facts I've repeated for the tapirs over in the tropical zone, but Malayan tapirs, also known as the Asian tapir, are herbivorous, which I think is the same for all the tapir species. Um, so they only eat shoots, uh, plants, leaves, roots, those sort of things. And they are very good swimmers, actually. They like to bathe and swim in the water. And looking at the sky, once again, it is night time, so I might have to take a quick nap. Let's do it out in the open air, underneath the stars, if I can. We've got Chalfont to, to watch me, so if any monsters do come, he will attack them for me. But uh, we seem safe. What is that? I think that is a tree ant. Oh, there's a tree ant over there as well. I might have to rescue him sometime. Uh, but we'll just get rid of some more of this stone and this exhibit is definitely taking shape Yeah, I like it. In fact, I think I might even like this little uh, Dip down area. It's got a lot of sand. So it's um, a bit like sandy beach I'm gonna grab some common slopes and stuff so I can um, Make like smooth edges a bit like I've done in here You can see with the the slopes there the triangle the triangular edges Um but this is gonna look really, really fancy. So I'm just gonna take some nibble, uh, a nibble on my vanilla ice cream. I can't speak today, I don't know why. So hopefully I have some Camden's slopes in one of these backpacks. I have one, <laughs> really, <laughs> really? Okay, let's make some more of these. There is definitely a reoccurring trend. What did I do with my Camden's table? It's not even a Camden's table, it's a crafting table. What is this called, a crafting station? There we are. What is going on today? Let's make some more sticks and we'll make a little staircase pattern and then we shall put these sticks by the side like that. Awesome. So there we are. There we are. I did get everything out of that table. Nope. Stick. There we are. Okay. So let's see what we can do. I will put that there like this. Um, and if we've got some dirt, what did I do with it? I did mention earlier that I had lots and lots of dirt, so I should never run out of it. Um, I'll put this like that um, we'll get rid of this stone here um, and smooth off a bit more of this we'll put one there oh. nope like that there okay chow form please I've already told you please get out the water <laughs> Now I can't get out of the water. Um, but no, I like this. I like this. So we'll do that like that. We're going to leave that there. Um, so I think at the back here, um, I know I dug a load of this dirt away, but I'm thinking we could add something like this. Uh, like a bit of dirt that comes up. You can add little slopes there. I could put a lot of bushes up there because, as I said, tapirs are herbivorous. They'll eat a lot of um, plants and things. So some berries for them to forage from, and we'll just feed Chalf on some more of that rotten flesh. Uh, let's see, we'll put that there, and that there, and maybe one there. Mm. You know what, I'm just gonna, just gonna do something like this. Yeah, that'll be fine. So let's just fill this in with dirt. Hopefully the grass will spread on top of it. 
and I need to plant some trees and things. So I think I'm going to stick with the same theme as I have done with the other exhibits, uh, with the fir tree, like I've done that. Or is that a pine tree? I think it's actually a pine tree. Um, do I have any of those on me? Uh, do, 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 do. Is that what I need? We shall soon check. So if I put one of these here, like right in the middle there, and then I bone meal it, no, that's not the right tree. Uh, what tree is that? Well, I know that it's a fir tree, but so it's a pine tree that we need. That's what we have learned. So I can chop this down because we don't need it. Um, come on, Axe. I thought you were pretty speedy. <laughs> that's a really awesome mod. Uh, I've been playing vanilla recently and I've noticed that the trees don't get chopped down quite as easily. Uh, which is really actually quite annoying because uh, I've been so used to the cre uh, tree capitator mod, I think that's what it's called. So what am I doing? I need to look for those trees. I don't think I have any so I might have to look at my house to see if I've got some there or if not I could just break some of those leaves and hope for the best. Um, so yeah this exhibit is taking shape and with that, I think I might have to end the episode here. So if you've got any ideas or anything of what you'd like to see in this exhibit, uh, please let me know, but I hope you're all, you're all enjoying it so far. It's nice to get back in the routine and start building more exhibits. Oh, and speaking of which, um, it's actually been a year since my old zoo got destroyed. And although I was sad at the time, I am actually quite glad because I really enjoy this zoo a lot better. It's a lot nicer. I think the exhibits look a lot prettier and it's just awesome. I prefer my new house by far. So I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye. Bye. Chaffon says bye too.